Blake, just tell us why we're here in West Cumbria today. Sure, we're here for the launch of uh, Alan Rapley's independent review into um, the future of Rugby League in West Cumbria. So uh, trying to build on the success of uh, the Rugby League World Cup uh, and ensure that the future of uh, Rugby League in West Cumbria is bright. Uh, everyone who would have attended those two matches would have realised what a special couple of evenings they were. Uh, that there's 14,500 people attend two Rugby League games in six days shows what a passion for Rugby League there is in West Cumbria. Uh, both Workington and Whitehaven face a number of challenges which to their credit they deal with admirably. Um, what they want to do and what the RFL wants to do now is make sure that we build on that success of the World Cup uh, and improve the environment for Rugby League in West Cumbria. I think both clubs, although they are fierce rivals on the pitch, uh, have had long discussions about the future of the game off here for many years now and I think the Rugby League World Cup kind of sort of crystallise our thinking to say surely there must be a better way forward for, for Rugby League in West Cumbria. So I think it was the World Cup, um, the opportunity to try and move on from there, discussions with the, with the RFL and us in Whitehaven to try and formalise a process where we can ascertain the landscape of the game in the future. It's about you know the sustainability of the game in, in West Cumbria and you know it is critically important. You know it's becoming more and more difficult as you say with the attendances etc. So you know Let's see what we can achieve through this report, see people's views and, uh, and move forward. Yeah, um, basically I've been employed by the RFL to have a look at rugby league in West Cumbria from grassroots all the way through to the professional game. And have you uh, got a grasp of the, the rivalry between the two, two professional clubs up here at Whitehaven and Workington? Well, yeah, I, I'm a Spurs supporter, so uh, knowing Spurs, what Spurs and Arsenal are like, I can, can kind of guesstimate. Um, but again, it's about sustainability and, and the future of the sport in West Cumbria. It's not just about the two, the two professional clubs. It's, it's a lot wider brief than that. Oh, I, I, I can't wait to see the research. And uh, it, it, there'll be lots more questions and answers, I think. But uh, I think Whitehaven and ourselves and the RFL, and if we can get everyone involved in, in mapping the future of the game forward, then we stand a great chance of make, making right decisions. We, we can't really, you know, identify what the outcome's going to be, but obviously, you know, if there was a new stadium, stadiums, whatever, that would be absolutely fantastic. But, you know, until we see the report, the outcomes, you know, we've got a very open mind, both clubs. Merger isn't driving the agenda at all. If I, if I go back to the original aim, just to try and move the game forward uh, in West Cumbria, uh, we're going with a completely open mind, and let's see what, what comes out of that.